What is up guys? Welcome back to Pandora's Gaming. My name is Pebbles and today I'm going to show you how to kill the destroyer from Terraria. Right, we're back. And so here's the scene. What do you know about the destroyer? It's the equivalent, the counterpart of the uh, the Eater of Worlds from for hard mode, and you can summon it easily by using the Mechanical Worm, which is made of Soul of Night, Rotten Chunks, or Vertebrae in case you have the Crimson, and you also need a lot of money. So let's get started. Money. Why do you need money? Ah, oh, you also need to have finished the pirate invasion. That's really important. Uh, you're gonna have to take uh, into your house the pirate and have yourself a little cannon here. Those are about 30, 40, I don't remember. Gold. It's actually gold, but it's pretty easy once you get in card one. I, I think you can repay it all by finishing the pirate invasion. You're also gonna need a lot of cannonballs. Uh, this is my. This is not my actual legit character, but I'm using it just for test purposes. And you're also gonna need a little arena here. Uh, crap. Uh, the sun is going down, and you're gonna need, of course, the mechanical worm. Maybe something to attack it. It's not real necessary. I have some potions here. Iron skin is important. I suggest you get it. And as you have, as you can see here, I have titanium, which isn't very strong. So that's that. And let's see how to set up the arena. You wanna set up? God damn it, truffle. Got myself a little truffle here. Uh, you wanna, you wanna set up a little arena here, more like a box. So you wanna go ahead and box yourself inside. I'm using snow block, so you can see. <laughs> um, I'm also using the shine potion uh, for your interest, so you can see. It's not actually necessary. I'm using one of these great lesser healing, yes, greater healing potions, uh, which are very good. I suggest using it, but in case you have just uh, the second one uh, above the tire of lesser potions, that would be great. Um, I'm also using some regeneration and, of course, iron skin. You want to make the arena a little bit small, like there we go. Something like, uh, what do you estimate? 30 by 10, 15? That's it. And you want to set yourself a little base here. Boom, boom, boom. That's just to be comfortable. A little base here. And you want to set up your cannon right there. Pointing at yourself. No, not actually pointing at yourself. Pointing at the truffle. Because no one loves the truffle. Right, truffle? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, you want it pointing directly across, you want to have your cannonballs ready, and you want to have something to attack it. Right now I have these, I've never used spears, but what the heck, I'm gonna use it. And the idea here is for the destroyer to pass right through here, and you can easily attack him uh, with the cannonball. Now, I know what you're thinking, he's gonna come back, I know, it's common sense. Uh, that's why you're gonna turn around and hit him. You're gonna have something to hit him melee or magic or archery, anything. Actually, actually no, no, archery no. You wanna have something to hit it close to close combat. And you wanna kill it. So, see you guys when it's night. And we are back. It's about to be night time. And I just want to point out uh, that you should have the cannon actually in. Like a kind of 45 degree angle, you you want it to be the first one before it being all straight. Why do you want this? Check this out. Boom. Not a lot of range. Now, boom. You have everything in your aim. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Right. So, uh, the destroyer is actually not a, a, a very large enemy. And you can easily hit it. So, angle is not really a problem. Of course, you don't want it hitting the ceiling. Because then, what's the point? Oh, and here we go. Alright, before you start, activate it at your left side and run. Uh, 
Wait, bow call. In a second. There we go. Attack. Boom, 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 boom. Hit it. Just keep hitting, keep hitting. Maybe angle it. Crap. Angle it. Boom, 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 boom. Just keep, keep, keep spamming that. That click button, that le left mouse button. Do, 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 do. Uh, take your potions with I don't have to read with P, small P. And just wait for it to come back. You can dance. Oh yes. Okay. Attack. Attack. Yeah. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. Uh, if he, uh, the destroyer is known to leave some kind of laser guys. That that's it. Uh, if he leaves any minions, just make sure you hit him good, and they'll die instantly. Just keep rerouting your cannon here. There we go. Just keep attacking him. Wait, uh, always you always want to be on the left side, so he comes following you, and you also don't want to kill him when his head is underground. Because that's gonna be a problem to find all the items. So just wait for him to come back. Uh, for the head, you want the head to be actually in the arena. There you go. Or close. There we go. That's it. Booyah. I didn't mean a pickaxe. Gosh. I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey, we're back. I actually forgot to bring a pickaxe, so I couldn't get out. Remember to bring a pickaxe. That's quite common sense. Um, I don't think I'll find his items, cause his head, I believe, it got stuck on the ground. Uh, just make sure, if maybe not in the arena, at least above or not so below, but close enough so you can get him. So, I think we ran out of time, but that's about it. This is the Terraria guide on how to kill the destroyer. Thanks for watching and thanks for supporting Kenworth Sim. Please, please, please keep watching our videos. Like, subscribe, favorite, everything you can. Google Plus, I hate Google Plus. Just do anything that can help support us. Uh, everything counts, every little detail. It's good enough for us. And thank you for helping me with my first actual video. Just gonna make a happy face here. Okay, see you guys. Goodbye.